Good morning, my name is Hannah. And I miss my big boy Seth. And today is Tuesday, October 24th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today, a representative from Mansfield University will be here at 8. A representative from Susquehanna Valley from Susquehanna University will be here at 9. And a representative from the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising will be here at 1.15. Tomorrow, a representative from Mont Montclair State University will be here at 8. And a representative from Indiana University of Pennsylvania will be here at 9. Any students interested in meeting with the representative in the CRC, please sign up in Naviance. Attention all members of the Mountaineer newspaper staff. We'll be meeting tomorrow at 2.40 in room 318. Anyone who's interested in finding out more about the newspaper is invited to attend. This includes writers and photographers. We're always welcoming new members. Attention juniors, a, rare, a representative from Thaddeus Stevens College will be in the guidance office on October 24th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. That's today. You and your parents are invited to attend the information session on the early enrollment opportunity available. Not only does it save you money, half the cost, but you can earn college and high school credits at the same time. Attention seniors, there is a link on the class of 2018 Schoology Group page for you to vote for your class motto. Voting will close at the end of the day, Wednesday, October 25th. If you'd like a say in the class motto, please vote for your favorite. Now over to the news. News time! The tensions between Catalonia and Spanish federal government have increased recently as Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy has decided to enact Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution, imposing direct rule on the commune of Catalonia. The crackdown by the Spanish government has increased separatist sentiment in not only Catalonia, but in other Spanish provinces as well, such as Galicia, Valencia, and the Balearic Islands. The U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs uh, announced that he believes that ISIL is, in some capacity, complicit in the attack on Niger that left four U.S. soldiers dead on October 4th. ISIL has been attempting to establish more international presences, mainly in North Africa, as their influence in the Middle East has been winding down due to catastrophic uh, defeats in combat. Today, in history, the first transcontinental telegraph line was completed, meaning Americans could now contact each other from anywhere in the United States. And now, we have phones. In Stranger Events, not Stranger Things, but that comes out on Friday, today also marks the first barrel ride over Niagara Falls. 63-year-old Annie Edson Taylor was in desperate need of her money after her husband died, so what else? She decided to gain fame and fortune by strapping herself in a pickle barrel and plunging over the falls. She survived, but unfortunately she did not gain the fortune she desired. Now she's in a pickle. Now over to Ethan and some random guy named Seth with the lunch. Today for lunch, we have... Uh, tacos with cinnamon sugar breadsticks. A breaded chicken patty on a whole grain roll. Papa John's pizza. Crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Buffalo chicken salad. Sweet potato fries. Green, green pepper strips with dip. Tex-Mex bean salad. Assorted fresh fruit or that wonderful slushy. Slushy! Sports results, none. Come out and support the boys and girls soccer teams as they begin the District 3 Championship tonight at Wellspan Mountaineer Field. The boys will be taking on Waynesboro at 5.30, followed by the girls game versus Dallastown at 7.30. Ticket prices are $4 for students and $6 for adults. Preseason passes cannot be expected, accepted for the playoffs. Best of luck to both teams. Attention all winter sport athletes. Winter sport signups are underway on Schoology. Remember to sign with your student email address, which is 800 at easdstudents.net. 
All physical and recertification paperwork needs to be in the athletic office by November 13th to participate the first day of practice. <laughs> if, you are, if you have any questions on your paperwork, stop by the athletic office. The rifle team will hold two open gyms before the season starts. Anyone interested, meet the coach by the high school main entrance on November 2nd and 9th at 6 p.m. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Cummings in the athletic office. Pew, pew, pew. Dodgeball teams, listen up. Sign up, waiver forms, and all money collected are due tomorrow. Waiver forms and donation sheets and money collected need to be turned into Mr. Geyer in room 129. Now I'm back. Now. <laughs> now bound. Now. <laughs> back to the main desk. <laughs> Reminder, Pancho Aid Night is quickly approaching on Wednesday, October 25th at 6.30 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Remind your parents, this collaborative effort with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency will clarify the financial aid process and provide annual updates to the FAFSA application process. The School Counseling Office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature in the cover of the 2018-2019 course selection guidebook. If you are interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted in your school G News feed. The deadline is November 22nd, so don't delay. Great uh, have day effort. Though. Yes. Hold on, we have a magic trick. <laughs> Ta da! <Ow. laughs> Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. <laughs> Just follow my moves and sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. No, don't touch that. <laughs> 